ever wanted to learn how to fly? Well, today's video is kind of my experience with that over the past week. I went on a paramotor course, um, which is basically a paramotor for those of you that don't know. It's a motor that you strap to your back with a glider above you and you can basically fly. Really freaking cool. And the sport itself is quite under the radar right now. There's not a huge amount of people that know about it, but there's more and more people knowing about it all the time, mostly because of YouTubers like Tucker Got, who is huge in the YouTube community for uh, this sort of stuff. And I'm actually going to leave a link in the description to one of his videos where he actually flies to McDonald's and back on a paramotor. It's the coolest thing ever. So in today's video, guys, it's a vlog video. You're going to get to see what I did over the past week on this paramotor course. Now, I didn't actually get to fly a paramotor because I wasn't able to finish the course, unfortunately. I'm going to go back in August and finish the course. But I was able to learn a lot and do a lot of practice with the gliders and uh, with the paramotor strapped to my back. So it was really fun. And here's some footage from the trip. Hope you guys enjoy. now i've just got to get a taxi to the farm and then we're gonna meet everyone and see what it's uh see what's going on literally on the train for like six hours straight yeah not bad how are you i'm jordan by the way hi jordan how are you yeah i'm good uh, manchester have you, really? what about you uh, i came down from edinburgh edinburgh yes yeah, I'm gonna be his checker now, but next time someone always gonna check each other. Okay, so let's do it with me. Check. One, One. two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, six. Okay, in this case. Okay, so someone is gonna remove his cat very day because every day everyone is gonna help each other that we can do this fast and we're gonna buckle up. I'm gonna turn the propeller on, so I turn the propeller away from everybody and from the side. First time you turn it on, a little bit above the ice. One and a half.
So I've just finished day two of um, this whole experience. I'm in the, my tent right now, but we've just finished today. We did a lot today, actually. We we practiced with the gliders, um, and I think I've got pretty good at that, being able to handle the glider. And after that, we did some stuff on the um, paramotor, which I wasn't able to get footage of, but basically we all sat in the paramotor, and we all um, were strapped in, and um, we all got our measurements, kind of our measurements, taken for what we're going to need for when we actually start using it properly. The paramotor itself has to be at a certain angle um, and then that varies depending on a person's weight so you have to make adjustments based on that and I'm the lightest in the group so I'm going to be getting the lightest paramotor which is pretty good because the other ones are so heavy. So yeah that's day two out of the way. I'm going to try and record as much as I can tomorrow and then uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay guys we're actually heading to one of the factories um, where they produce the paramotors and so it's gonna be cool to show you guys around um, there there's loads of different types of paramotors and stuff like that um, depending on your weight depends on which type of paramotor you're gonna be using so uh, it's gonna be cool to check this out and uh, see what the factory is like and how they produce these things so or how they manufacture it all um, so yeah I'll catch up with you there We build these machines and normally anywhere between 10 and 15 per cycle. Okay? And we really will spend a week prepping the parts of that. Okay? So you have a machine back plate and a few other parts, but otherwise the rest of it is hand fabrication and work. So they take the profile material. Um, once they're all finished, they go off to be powder coated and then they come back again. Cool, so this is our, um, our group machine. So the China Industries group comprises of several different companies. Paradex is one of them, I run Paradex. So the guy that's talking right now is actually one of the people, one of the main key people in um, Parajet, the company that makes um, some of these power motors. And they are really good at what they do. They, they were showing us around their factory and it was just really, really cool how everything was done. And uh, they, they put a lot of time and effort into making these um, machines as safe as possible. So that's very reassuring actually. Um, so it was great to go and check this place out. And actually guys, at this point, unfortunately, I didn't really have much memory on my phone. So I wasn't able to record much after this, unfortunately. Um, but I did loads more practice and it was a lot of fun, but I do want to show you guys one more thing I actually met up with another youtuber and uh, we hung out for a little bit You might know who he is. So we're gonna cut to that right now. Enjoy <laughs> You could have drove uh, down here I think. Do you want to see my base? Mate, I would love to. How you How doing? You, it's actually crazy. Yo! <laughs> I didn't realise you were this close. <laughs> yeah, dude. I didn't realise you were this close until so you put close. That on Instagram. <laughs> yep. That's what I was thinking actually when I was going to do this because I did ask you if you wanted to do it with me. Yeah, we were going to do it. I thought you were going to fly up north though. I mean, you were like, I'm in Gillingham and I was like, there's only two Gillinghams I know. There's either the one in Kent or the one here. You are right? So you live at, you're, you're this one? No, I'm this one. Well, right, right at, the at the back, yeah. yeah. I, there was more tent. There was one other guy next to me, but... You raided him. Yeah, I raided him. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Is this so a, yeah. This is a one man, isn't this it? This is a one by one. <laughs> this is a... Uh, doesn't even have a key lock. <laughs> like, doesn't even have a key lock on it, mate. Just, just go in there. We finally collab in. We're finally doing a duo survival. A collab where we don't even play Rust again. Yeah. No one is... watches us play Rust yeah. together. We just. I've got to admit, my views are going way down. I need to. I need Mine to don't exist I... anymore. <laughs> just... <laughs> Mine don't exist. <laughs> Yo. I've sacked in Rust. I've got four minutes, but I'll take my GoPro with me. So, so yeah, do you want to just head out? Let's get some food. Do you want to go roaming? Yeah, we're going roaming. <laughs> Let's go, mate. Cheers. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you recorded that? Yeah. We have to do it properly. We're, we're... we're smash. <laughs> <laughs> smash them together. I was actually thinking about fish and chips, I'd be mad. What is that? I guess the so. pastry's so small <laughs> compared to the. <laughs> I'm like a leaf. Right, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna get on this one. Yes, mate. <laughs> Give him a minute. Uh, look phone. at that, I got 2 minutes 51 of, of recording left. So, uh, if, if this is gonna be a video, boys, 
Oblivion is, Oblivion is going to be much longer because <laughs> he's got a much better <laughs> SSD card than I do. So watch his because you'll get more content. Mine's going to run out in two minutes. <laughs> You've got two minutes. I've got two minutes. Well. I'm going to put you against this and you, you can. There you go. This will be like. This feels like a, a podcast. Yeah, that way it's I, I, That's wait, perfect though. It is. I should update. <laughs> Don't steal my spot, bro. <laughs> I should, I should, uh, I should, I should update everybody. We've come into this uh, pub. We came to a nice pub. Yeah, beautiful pub. Nice pub. And uh, we just had a really nice. Um, we didn't even vlog any of the food. We didn't vlog any of the food. We were terrible. We're actually really bad at vlogging. Yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> we were terrible. <laughs> We've got a bit. We, this is my second. You need to be the first. But one. I was waiting for you to like, you know, yeah, let's get the cameras out. Get the ball rolling. You know, I was following your lead. <laughs> so yeah, we basically had a really nice pie, but I wouldn't classify that as a pie personally. It was like, it was like a soup. It, yeah, it was, it it was a, like soup a soup with some pastry on the top. <laughs> There's pastry amongst it, like pastry everywhere. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. I feel like we should have just vlogged it to be like, this is what we ate. This is what we ate. Did yeah. I, I don't think I vlogged it. <laughs> I, don't I, don't think think I, did I got the cheers. You got the cheers, there. which I didn't even get. Oh yeah. wait, no, nah, I'm not going to do it now because it's at the end. There's no point in cheers at the end. Can, yeah, no, but you can add it in before editing, bro. Do it now. You know, yeah, do it now. Yeah, cheers now. I want to get a full on cheers. drink. Say legend. Say legend you do it. Okay. <laughs> cheers, legend. I can't wait to eat this uh, pie that we've already ate. But <laughs> absolutely destroyed already. <laughs> You're still in the recording. You got. You got to get the outro. I got two minutes. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna end. Uh, this oblivion just had a really nice meal. And, uh, Why am I so shiny? And and I've got 30 seconds left to do this outro. So, no, no. Yeah, I'll catch you in the next video, boys. <laughs> Peace.